What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you as how to use WhatsApp on your Chrome browser. Now uh, as you can see, you just have to go to this uh, web address that I'll be providing in the description and after going that you will be getting a QR code which you have to scan from your phone. Now this is only available for Android, Blackberry, Windows and also Nokia, Nokia devices. So if you are, if you are an iOS user, you just have to wait uh, for it. For the whatsapp web to get updated or i don't think so uh, I, I think it's updated and you'll be able to use it so as you can see i have my phone here and the whatsapp uh, updated to the latest version and i'll be launching the whatsapp and uh, towards the right side you can see the three dotted lines when you just tap on it you'll be able to access the whatsapp web available here first i'll be just uh, reloading the qr code and you can see the QR code is available right now and uh, what you need to do is you have to select the WhatsApp web option available here and uh, you can see you will be able to scan the QR code and uh, once the QR code is scanned you will be able to uh, go to your web browser just I'm just closing this option available here you will be able to go to your web browser and chat with your family and friends and uh, you can see if I just uh, exit the web browser i'll be again able to uh, connect automatically on my google chrome you can see i don't need to scan the qr code again for uh, connecting it to my web browser so it's a very good thing and also if you want to receive the notifications of uh, whatsapp like if you get a new message you will be able to receive the notification you just have to tap on this three dot line and you have to select the option as notifications and you can see the desktop alert sounds you just have to check it and you'll be able to receive the alerts on your chrome browser now uh, i'll be just sending a new message from my chrome browser to a friend uh, as uh, uh, Okay, so I have just sent it and you can see you can also type from your keyboard and also you'll be able to send emoji messages and uh, also your voice memo you can see you just have to uh, click and hold your mouse and if you want to send it you just uh, select this right option available here and you can see you can send the voice memo on your or to your friends and also if you want to uh, load a new chat you just have to select the option here and uh, you can see you'll be able to select a new chat and i don't think you'll be able to change your profile picture or status you just have to do it from your phone and uh, also you'll be able to send photos and videos i'll be just sending a picture to my friend and you can see you just have to go to your uh, desired location onto your uh, computer or your laptop and select the photo here and you can see i have selected this photo and uh, you'll be getting a preview as this photo is selected so you can add media up to 10 uh, photos you'll be able to add it and send it to your friends uh, so just i'll be just sending this photo and you can see the photo will be sent so through this you can you'll be able to send a photo also and also you'll be able to uh, select this camera option and if you have a webcam or if your laptop is obviously your, your laptop will have a webcam uh, built in built into it so you will be able to send uh, like you can you can send you can click photos from your laptop and send it uh, through this option available here and as said you can also send message uh, by typing onto your keyboard so through this simple and easy method you'll be able to access your whatsapp on your chrome browser on your google chrome browser so hope you guys like this video and if you do please do give it a thumbs up and also do follow me on facebook twitter instagram and google plus and also do remain subscribe to my youtube channel for the more content that i'll be doing in the near future till then i'll be seeing you in my next video